Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. So I'm gonna start with my usual, which is coffee, and I typically have the pre-ground um, Duncan coffee, and this is our coffee maker here which I will link down below because I get asked about it a lot when I post it on Instagram. So check that out if you're interested. And then this is the creamer that I've been using a lot recently. I'm really loving the oat milk um, dairy free and I really like this flavor. Here's what it looks like and the nutritional information here on the back. So when I do want to make iced coffee at home, I've been using this guy, which is the Hyper Chiller, and I will also link him down below if you're interested, but there's two ways to use it, and it's super easy. So all you can do is um, move your little coffee pot and put this there instead and brew directly into this guy, and it will chill itself because inside is ice. It's like a little chamber that it goes through and sits in, and then all around it is ice, or you can pour your coffee that you had already made like this into there and same thing it'll chill it within like about a minute I would say give or take depending on how hot your coffee already is but yeah it basically makes iced coffee without watering it down like melted ice because it just chills it inside and then when you pour it back out it's instantly cold and then for breakfast after my coffee I just had a hard-boiled egg with everything seasoning some pepper and two slices of pre-cooked bacon for lunch today, I'm going to have a spinach wrap. This is a great option or substitute instead of bread. You could also just use lettuce if you prefer. Then I'm going to add a serving size of the red pepper hummus. Over top that, I added some shredded lettuce, shredded carrots, some fat-free feta, pepper, cucumber slices, and some avocado. This is a great option itself as veggie, but you can definitely add some chicken, whether you cook it up yourself or if you have a rotisserie chicken, that's also a great option to get the added protein. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to make some honey garlic chicken with veggies. I'm first gonna separate my ingredients. I typically do this during dinner to make sure I have everything prepped that I'm gonna need. So I've prepped and set aside about eight ounces of coin cut carrots, about eight ounces of broccoli, two garlic cloves, two green onions, and I've also diced up 12 ounces of boneless chicken breasts. I'm gonna place all the veggies in a nonstick pan over medium heat with about two teaspoons of olive oil until they're lightly browned, so about three to five minutes depending on the temperature. Then I'm going to add in my green onions, one fourth cup of water, and my seasoning blend, which includes garlic, ginger, chili, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to continue to cook this for about five more minutes. For my chicken, I'm also placing this in a nonstick pan with some olive oil with the garlic, cooking for about seven minutes, but depending again on your temperature, make sure the internal heat reaches 165 degrees. Once my chicken is cooked and ready, I'm going to add in honey and teriyaki glaze. And I'm just gonna to continue to cook this for about 30 to 60 seconds till the glaze is simmering. Then place everything on your plate and it's ready to eat. I also steamed up some Brussels sprouts because Will's not a huge fan of carrots. So I took his carrots and gave him extra broccoli and Brussels. But whatever veggies you prefer is totally fine. So this is like a super quick and easy dinner option. It really takes just like about 15 minutes to prep and cook. It's a very light calorie option, but still gives you that high protein. We all know I have a huge sweet tooth. I love sweets and I believe in balance and moderation. So my go-to that fits my lifestyle is Built Bar. This is a great option for dessert if you're like me and have cravings for sweets. You can eat it by itself like a candy bar. To me, it's very similar to like a Snickers, but today I'm gonna show you another way you can enjoy it. Today I chose the peanut butter brownie flavor, and this is one of the perfect options to microwave to give you that warm, gooey, brownie-like texture. So I just place this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Then you can see once it's ready, it has even more of that light, fluffy texture. The chocolate coating has started to melt, and it just makes it more like decadent, brings out the flavor more. Like, look at that. You cannot tell me that does not look like a super unhealthy brownie. Built Bar always satisfies my cravings, but in a guilt-free way. I'll post the link down below and a discount code if you guys are interested in trying Built Bar for yourself. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out the description box for more information and discount codes. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.